Hello, guys. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes. Okay, let me see. Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, um, let's see, Mario, Magdalena, Joman. Hello. 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 Hello, guys. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, let's start with this module, right? You are in intermediate module two, right? Congratulations. You have uh, gone so far. Okay, guys, so let's start it. Let me just show you uh, this presentation. So my name is Joyce Espinosa, and uh, I'm going to be your teacher for this module. I have a lot of experience working in different places, and uh, so I can say I, um, I have some knowledge about English. So this is my formation and uh, let's see what do we have for today. Uh, remember that uh, we have the, the requirements, right? We have the information for this course. Remember that it is from, in this case, in this case, we're going to have classes from Monday to Friday. Uh, we used to have like classes from Monday to Thursday, but that is going to be, this is going to be an exception because remember we have the Holy Week. And so because of that to cover those days, we need to have classes from Monday to Friday. Okay, eh, recordemos que vamos a tener clases de lunes a viernes, right? Eh, esto debido a la Semana Santa, entonces para poder cubrir esos días. Okay, uh, we have classes from 8 to 9 p.m. And uh, this course will end by April 27th. That is going to be the, the end day. And uh, here is the link for the WhatsApp group. I don't know if, if everybody's in the WhatsApp group. No or yes? Are yes. you? Yeah, everybody is. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay, so uh, this is like the general information, right? For you to be aware of the, of the activities, right? Of the day that we are going to have classes. Okay, so let's see the, some characteristics that Zoom has that we have in Zoom. For example, we have the silent button, we have the camera, we have the chat, the breakout rooms and the button for help, right? There is, a, to me, it doesn't appear that button, but in your case, it appears like uh, raise your hand, ask uh, to mute or unmute. So you have different options. Okay, that is part of the Zoom. So let's see what about the homework syntax that we have for this. You have been working with this, right? So this is going to be like just a protocol. So we have the attendance that is going to be 90% in connections, right? We have the platform. I don't know if you have already registered in the platform. No sé si ya nos registramos a la plataforma. But if not, let me know, okay? Let me know if you have problems because we need that for you to move to the next module, right? Okay? So Veamos la plataforma, si, la, si podemos ingresar, porque a veces there are some like uh, errors, right? Maybe from the part of the insufford or maybe we are doing something wrong. Okay, remember that we have like 60 minutes for each class and uh, we have to turn on the camera, right? Tenemos siempre que tener la cámara encendida. You have to write your, your complete name, the attendance, and also you have to participate. Recordarle siempre que es necesario que activemos la cámara, right? Esto eh, Insafor nos lo pide, así que solicitarles nada más eso. Y eso nos va a ayudar siempre también a que estemos atentos to the class. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if you have questions. No sé si tienen dudas. Questions about, for example, something that I've explained. 
Para los que se van incorporando, algo que les dije al principio es que vamos a tener las clases de lunes a viernes, ¿ok? No, ya no lo vamos a hacer solo por este módulo. Eh, solo por este módulo lo vamos a hacer así, de lunes a viernes, ¿ok? Esto, como les, les, les dije al inicio, es por eh, la Semana Santa, ¿verdad? Para cubrir esos días. Ok, so, eh, las reglas, right, the homeworks and evaluations. And ya no nos olvidemos de la plataforma, de platform. Tenemos que hacer todas las secciones de acuerdo a las semanas que vayamos avanzando. Si usted eh, puede... Quizás no avanzar, ay, se me pasaba anteriormente que a veces avanzaban los estudiantes muchas secciones, entonces iban muy adelantados. Entonces solamente pedirles que lo hagamos de acuerdo a las fechas que nos indique en el grupo, right Ahí nos van a estar posteando, por ejemplo, eh, qué sección debemos determinar, en qué fecha. Así que eh, respetemos esa calendarización que nos van a dar más adelante. Okay, no sé si hay dudas o preguntas. Any questions, guys? Welcome, everybody. Any question, teacher? No, no questions. Okay, perfect. Now the, let's go to my favorite part, right? To know all of you, right? I already introduced myself. Now I want to know more about yourself. So I want you to tell me, for example, your name. Um, I want that you talk about where are you from. I want you to tell us, for example, an interest or detail about yourself. For example, what you like to do, what, are you, what your hobbies are, and uh, your, what, makes you, what makes you do some things that are fun, uh, some interest, right? And also, why are you studying English, right? Why you are studying this wonderful language? Okay, so who wants to start? Who wants to introduce? Is there a volunteer or do you want me to choose you? Hay alguien que se quiera presentar and talk about yourself? Mm -hmm. No? Hey, we have it. We have time. Don't worry, guys. So I'm going to choose you. So I'm going to choose the ones that don't have the camera on. So I'm going to start with Mario Claros. Okay, are you there, Mario? Hola, hola, Mario. Okay. Okay, my go ahead. Mario, my name is Mario Claros. Mm -hmm. I'm from in the Morazan Provincial. Uh, um, my interest in speaking write and read English is uh, I to travel and Canada. Mm. Why Thank Canada? You. Why Canada, Mario? Why Canada? Okay. Por qué Canada? Why Canada? Uh, I, I visited. Oh, you visited in the past? Poland. Okay, okay. Uh, they, they speak English and French, right? Do you speak French or no, are you studying? No, no, no. In the future? So, solo con café. <laughs> Just with coffee, yes, for sure. <laughs> okay, that's good, Mario. Okay, thank you, Mario. Can you do me a favor and choose another person? Podemos elegir alguien más, Mario? Can you choose another person? Hola, hola, Mario. ¿Podemos elegir a alguien más de sus compañeros? Can you choose another person, Mario? Hola, Mario. ¿Se nos fue, Mario? Ok. Excuse me, excuse okay. me, excuse me. Eh, eh, the first, eh, Gloria Mena. Gloria, veamos si está Gloria, Gloria. Oh, yes, yes, there it is, Gloria. Good evening. I'm sorry, at the moment, eh, el micrófono no lo ve, eh, la cámara no me funciona, pero uh -huh. estoy en otro dispositivo, pero gracias por la recomendación. Eh, 
My name is Gloria Elizabeth Mena. We are mm -hmm. from El Salvador in city Chalchuapa. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, and in my last is interesting. Um, uh, uh, hobby. I I like um practice exercise. Uh, I like cook mm. every day. And it's interesting to study English in my last is necessary in my job with speak English with my family in USA. Mm -hmm. uh, I dream is I I visit with my parents and USA New York. Uh, welcome teacher with my este, compañero de inglés. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Wonderful. A clap for Gloria. I love it. Thank you, Gloria. Can you choose another person, please, Gloria? Mm, it is. Mm -hmm. um, quiero ver. Mm. Es un teacher que no puedo ver la pantalla. Okay, okay. Tenemos, we have Alpha, uh, uh -huh. we have Amanda, we have Herson, we have uh, Gladys, we have Joelman, we have Mario K. No, Mario, I think he has a ready part. Eh, Morena, José Leonardo, too. Eh, Amanda. Amanda, okay. Amanda, hello, Amanda. Hello, teacher. Yo entré un poquito tarde, pero verdad que cada punto vamos a decir de eso que dice ahí, verdad? Sí, así es, Amanda, así es. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Amanda Enriquez. Este, I am from Pucatancingo, San Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, one interesting detail is I love sing. Hello, Sing. Um, why are you studying English? I study, I study in English um, because I like it. Because you like English. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you, Amanda, for your participation. Can you do me a favor and choose another person, please, Amanda? Can you choose another? Ahorita. Quiero ver. Holman Sánchez. Holman, okay. Holman, are you there, Holman? This is the first time I listen Holman. Hi. Okay. Hi, Holman. Uh, um, hi, my name is Holman. I am living in Soyapango. Um, um, I like listen to music, mm -hmm. a lot of kind of music. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I love it. Uh, mm, meet uh, new kinds of music, and I go out with my friends. Mm -hmm. and I like English because I. I think it's important uh, for for the life mm -hmm. uh, or dif different situations. Yeah, um, it's for uh, it's important and necessary. Uh, okay. Yes, definitely. I heard something you said, and you said that you like music. What type of music do you like? Uh, well. I I love it. A lot of kind of music. Which yeah. one? Reggaeton, hip hop. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you said all. That's why I I, I, I said that. Yes, yes. I like uh, punk, uh, post punk, and hip hop. 
uh, reggae, ska, mm -hmm. a lot of kind different things. I love it. Uh, meet new new style. Oh, new styles. Okay, yeah. I just thought that maybe you like a, a reggaeton and all of that in yeah, yeah, bachata, yeah. so that's why I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you, Yolma. Can you please choose the next person, please? Hello, Yolma. Can you choose the next student? Hola, hola, Yolma. Okay, so let's see who is missing. Can you continue, Morena Medina? Okay, Morena Medina, please. Can you introduce yourself? Morena? Hello, Morena? Where's Morena? Okay, what about, um, let's see, glad. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Oh, Good night. hello, hello, Morena. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, my name is Morena Medina. Uh -huh. uh, I'm from Santa Ana. Uh -huh. uh, my algo divertido a mío algo mío uh -huh. uh, my life is in herches uh -huh. uh, i share with my friend uh -huh. uh, and we are you a student uh, mm, siempre me como digo siempre me ha gustado i've always liked i'm going to write I, I have always mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I have I always like. Mm -hmm. English. Okay. English. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect, Morena. Thank you so much. Can you choose the next person, please, eh, Morena? Perdón. Podemos elegir la siguiente persona, Morena. The next okay. person. Mm -hmm. Por nombre o por... Por nombre, número. está bien. Name. Ah, no, no, no hay nombre. Uh, pues aquí el único que me aparece es Holman Sánchez. Holman ya participó, nos queda José Leonardo. Creo que no... Alfa. Hace... Alfa, ¿está ahí Alfa? Oye, no Bye. Ah, ahí yes. Está. Ok. <laughs> ok, mm -hmm. Alfa. Go ahead, please. Introduce yourself. Ok. My name is Alfa. Mm -hmm. I'm from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I like to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I study English for overcoming. Oh, for overcoming, right? Yes, for overcoming or for learning, right? Oh, or learning, learning. Mm -hmm. a new language. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you, Alfa. Okay, I uh, creo que nos hace falta Jose Leonardo. Okay, Jose. Okay, Jose Leonardo. <laughs> okay, let's go, Jose. Thank you, Alfa. Good evening. Good evening, Jose. My name is uh, Jose Leonardo Cortez. Mm -hmm. I'm from uh, Santa Ana. I mm -hmm. like music, Christian. I like mm -hmm. uh, uh, watch and play uh, soccer. Mm -hmm. I like a room. Mm -hmm. uh, I like study English, and I need to study English for uh, before my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect, Jose. We are neighbors, right? Porque yo soy también de Santa Ana. We are neighbors. Okay. Oh. okay, thank you, Jose. Okay, let's see who is missing. Creo que Gerson has a falta. Gerson, did you already participate? Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Gerson Uciel Martinez Garay. Mm -hmm. uh, I am from uh, La Libertad. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I am interested interest in 
¿Qué sería en qué estoy interesado? O sea, ¿cómo sería la? I am interested. I am interested. I am interested in in interest interest uh, in you from from the machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I I like uh, speak English for the instru instruction the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, for giving instructions, right? For giving instructions to the machine. Okay, to the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good, right? There are some machines that uh, we have to read, right? The, the instructions. Okay, thank you, Herson. Let's see who is missing. ¿Quién nos hace falta? Um, let's see, Amanda. No sé si estuvimos. Oh, yes, Amanda ya estuvo. Gerson también. Gladys, no sé si estuvo. Did you already participate, Gladys? Good morning. Good, 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 good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay. My name is Gladys Campos. Mm -hmm. I am from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I live in Mexicanos. Mm -hmm. I I need to learn in, to English in uh, to Spanish is uh, speak is English. Mm -hmm. I I want to travel outside my my country. Um, I like I I like music and dance. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the English language. Okay, perfect. You like uh, listening to music and sing and dancing, right? Dancing. Dancing. Bailar le gusta. You like to dance. Yes. Okay, that's great, right? There are some people like me who have two, two foot, right? To have two feet. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you, Gladys. Okay, so no sé si alguien más. Is there somebody who is still missing? Let me see. No sé si alguien más, or everybody. I think everybody is done, right? Okay, so uh, let me just mention some things about the class, guys. Solo déjenme mencionarles algunos aspects from the class que los vamos a ver. Y eso les solicitarles nuevamente que activemos la cámara. Eh, dice que probablemente a veces estemos en el trabajo o a veces vengamos en camino, pero sí solicitarles que activemos siempre la cámara. Lo otro es decirles que eh, para, a veces usted va, va a ver que yo escribo cosas en, en, la, en la pizarra, pero son algunas frases que, eh, para que las podamos mejorar. ¿okay? Así que no se vayan a asustar si ven como lo que usted está diciendo lo estoy escribiendo, pero es para poder corregir esas frases. ¿okay? Eh, también lo otro, mi objetivo con estas clases es que usted hable inglés. right Así que la mayoría del tiempo voy a estar hablando en inglés. Eso es lo que hacemos es hablar inglés español, pero eh, yo considero que es mejor que se hable en toda la clase de inglés, right? A menos que usted me diga, teacher, can you repeat that, please? Or I don't understand. Can you say that in Spanish? Okay, we can do that. Can you? Eh, usted me dice, usted me indica, right? Siempre les hago la, la, el énfasis. De, si usted tiene alguna duda, eh, tiene alguna pregunta, usted la puede hacer. Ok, aquí estamos para aprender. Ok, no sé si hay dudas. If not, we can start with the lesson. Ok, no questions. No, ok, thank you. So, let's move on then with uh, the first activity, right? We're going to have a listening. You're going to listen this. And then you are going to tell me what the listening is about. Okay? So vamos a escuchar. And you are going to tell me de qué se trata, what it is about. Okay? What the listening is about. De qué se trata el listening. Listen. Listen.
Interchange, fourth edition. C. Richards with Chapter. This class audio program contains recordings that correspond published by Cain Copyrighted. CD2, Unit 6. How often do you exercise? Page 37, Exercise 3, Conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, Listen and Practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay. So, who can tell me what the listening is about? ¿De qué se trató el listening? What is the listening about? Hmm? Some ideas, right? What is the listening about? ¿De qué se trató el listening? The hmm? practice, practice exercise. Yes, right. They mentioned something about practicing exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? What else they say? ¿Qué más dicen? What else do they say? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más dicen? Okay. Ya tenemos una idea de que ellos practice, right? They practice exercise. So let's see. Here I have the listening and uh, you are going to help me uh, to read, right? Vamos a escucharlo primero y luego ustedes lo practican. Listen. Page 37, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. <coughs> what else does Paul do in his free time? What else do you like to do, Paul? Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time, too. Well, listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. Okay, that was part of this section, right? So, can you be, let's see, uh, Morena, can you be Mary? And Paul, can you be Gerson, please, Gerson. Okay, Mary, eh, puede, puede leer la parte de, perdón, Morena, puede leer la parte de María, de Mary. Y Jefferson, Gerson, perdón. Can you help me to read la parte de Paul? Ok. Ok, Mary, creo que el micrófono está... Morena, perdón, Morena. Uh, creo que el micrófono está desactivado. Ok, can you start? Perdón. Este, okay. ¿Cree que lo puede pronunciar usted para este, escucharlo mejor? ¿Cómo ok. Es que, ¿Cómo es que okay. se dice? Ajá. Okay, no problem. Let's do something. Let me just try this one so you can listen. Okay. Well, I almost always get up early. And I program contains re this record unit six. How Let's often do you part. exercise? Page 37, exercise three, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, so let's uh, let's read it. it says, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. 
Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. Usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a couch potato. Okay, so uh, let's listen. Uh, let me know if you are ready. Estamos listos, Morena and Gerson. Ready, teacher. guys? Sí. Yes. Jonathan? Mm -hmm. uh, potato. 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 Potatoes. Couch potato. potato. Couch potato. Oh, Ese es como potato. las personas que solo pasan acostadas, right? Que solo pasan oh, you know, on the sofa, resting. Uh, they don't want to do exercise. No les gusta hacer eh, couch exercise. Potato. Couch potato. Yeah. Couch potato. Couch potato. Okay. Welcome, Jonathan. So let's listen to Morena and Jeffer. Gerson. Sorry, Gerson. Go ahead, please. Okay. You are, you are, you are reality five. Paul, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I live, I live, wait for an hour. Seriously? 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 Perfect, perfect. Seriously? Uh -huh. Sure, ¿cómo sería eso? Sure. 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 Um, then I often go swimming. 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 Mm -hmm. wow. Continue. How how was how often do you exercise, exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I really ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I guess I am really cows, but no, no. Potato. Potato. potato, potato, potato. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gerson. Okay, eh, esta palabra, eh, let me just show you this one. Esta palabra is hardly ever hardly, hardly ever. ever hardly hardly, 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 ever. hardly, 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 hardly ever hardly ever ever de esa forma la vamos a pronunciar hardly ever, ever. es como ejercicio. difícilmente difícilmente mm -hmm. yo hago ejercicio right oh rara mm -hmm. oh, I, uh -huh. hardly ever, ever. ever. Eh, tenemos la palabra really, really, really fit. Mm. Son aquellas really personas que son eh, muy, eh, que les gusta hacer mucho ejercicio, right? Que están en línea, really, really fit. Really fit. Uh -huh. Tenemos really también fit. usually, 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 usualmente, right? Usually. I, tenemos I, la palabra I, just, I, just, just, just. Just. I usually just watch TV. Just, Yo usualmente just. lo que hago es ver televisión, right? O solo just. veo televisión. Just. Okay, so is watch there TV. any word? ¿Hay alguna palabra, guys? Any word? Or is there somebody who wants to try? ¿Hay alguien que lo quiera intentar? To read? Teacher, they say ser seriously. Seriously. Como cuando dicen serio. en serio. De verdad, seriously. Seriously. Okay. Is there somebody I think, who wants to try? Okay, you're welcome. My pleasure. Okay, perfect. Uh, Alpha, vamos a. Is there a boy? And Jose, okay. Okay, vamos a escuchar primero a Jose porque había que tener ahí un tiempo con el micrófono encendido. And then you, Jonathan, okay. Okay, Alpha, you, oh. usted va a ser eh, María, and José is going to be Paul. Ready, guys? Okay. You really fit? Oh, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for in hours. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. 
Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? <coughs> oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in the, my free time. I guess I am real coach potato. Okay, perfect, guys. Excellent. Okay, just take care with these words. No tengamos cuidado con esta palabra. This is for an hour. For an hour. An hour. Okay, perfect, guys. Okay, I don't know if you have questions or can we continue with the lesson? No estoy si hay alguna duda. Teacher, la palabra wait. 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 Oh, oh, wait. 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 I lift weights. Es como levantar pesas. I lift weights. I'm sorry? Hardly. Okay, ha hardly. Okay, este es hardly ever. Es como que algo que muy difícilmente. Algo que usted le cuesta ah. hacer, right? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Okay, so let's continue Page with 37. this uh, part, right? Vamos a hablar how often do you exercise? ¿Qué tan seguido? How often? How often? How often do you exercise? ¿Qué tan seguido ustedes hace ejercicio? Okay, what about in your case, Holman? How often do you play basketball? How often do you exercise? Or how often do you play basketball, baseball, soccer, football? How often? Por ejemplo, dos veces a la semana? Two times a week? Hmm? Hardly ever. <laughs> Casi nunca. Hardly. Okay. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Yes, right. N nothing. Nothing. Uh, I, I, I think only walk to the work. <laughs> okay. So only walk. Our system with the gal, right? What do you do? Uh, Stay fit. Was, uh there there is uh, there aren't people so uh, i don't uh i can play alone <laughs> oh i got you i got you right you, it is because that you don't you don't have close friends my no person um, staying cerca some, something <laughs> i i i practice skateboarding in my day off Okay, you practice skateboarding. Very interesting. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about uh, you, Amanda? How often do you, uh, for example, walk? Uh, for example, walk, uh, weight training, for example. Algunos que hacen entrenamiento de, de, de pesas, right? Weight training. Tenemos el, el, treadmill, el treadmill donde ustedes este, and this one, this is the treadmill, right? And instead it's walking, in la banda. Mm -hmm. Walking is caminar. Yes, caminando. walking. Mm -hmm. Walking is um, mm -hmm. almost always. Almost always, right? Casi siempre, right? Almost walking, almost always, okay? What about, yes. thank you, Amanda. What about you, Jonathan? How often, for example, do you practice any of these activities? It's walking, teacher. Oh, walking. Walking, okay. Walking. walking. Okay, recordemos que esta no pronunciamos la L, okay? Walking. Sin la L, no, solo se dice walking, walk. Okay. Walking. Walking, walking, walking. Quiero quitar la L que se le agregue, pero la pronunciamos de esa forma, walking, walking. Ok, tengamos cuidado, just take care with that. Tenemos the next one that it is, for example, stretching, right? Cuando hacemos como antes de hacer ejercicio, stretching, que usted tiene que estirarse, stretching. Then we have jogging, 
uh, for example, for me, that uh, I don't run like too fast. Jogging is cuando usted va como pasos lentos, right? Trotando, let's say, jogging. Okay, so do you have questions about the words, guys? No questions? So, um, okay, let me know if you can. Let me know what four, do. Four, two. Mm -hmm. Can you see the presentation, guys? I think there, there is a mistake. Oh, here it is. Okay, so no questions about the previous uh, words. No sé si hay más dudas. Okay, so entonces vamos a la grammar focus, right? The grammar for uh, this section. Okay, estamos, vamos a ver los adverbs of frequency, los adverbios de frecuencia, con qué regularidad, for example, you do an activity. Esos son los adverbs of frequency. Okay, estos son, tenemos el always, una, una actividad que siempre hacemos, Almost always, casi siempre, right? Un 90%. Usually, algo, una actividad que le hacemos con regularidad, let's say, usually. Por ejemplo, I usually drink coffee sometimes. in the morning. Sometimes. Sometimes, algo que algunas veces, right? I usually drink coffee in the morning. No siempre, pero usualmente, right? in the morning. Then we have often, uh, we have that, tango que hacemos con regularidad también algunas veces, often, sometimes, it is, eh, se parece bastante el often, solo que el often es como más frecuente. Uh, then we have el hardly ever, algo que casi nunca hacemos, que nos cuesta hacer, for example, tendemos también el almost never, casi nunca, una actividad que casi no hacemos. And uh, then we have never, right? I'm going to write the meaning. A menudo, si lo queremos tal como una translation, en el caso de often. Ok, uh, esos son los adverbios de frecuencia. No sé si hay dudas about the meaning. No doubts, guys. Ok, entonces vamos a ver how to use them. Utilizamos la pregunta, how often, qué tan seguido. How often do you exercise? Qué tan seguido haces ejercicio. Eh, podemos utilizar every day también, que es todos los días. También podemos utilizar once a week, una vez por semana, or two times a week, three times a week, por ejemplo. También podemos utilizar el twice, twice a month, veces a, al mes. Three times a year, tres veces al año, often in March. Eh, tenemos el often, a menudo. And tenemos el usually también, right? El usually tenemos y el sometimes nos indican que lo podemos utilizar al principio de la oración. Usually. Solo esos dos, right? Solo esos dos los podemos utilizar al principio de la oración. Los demás los vamos a utilizar antes del verbo. Okay, esa es una regla. Teacher. Yes. Y, y usually and some, sometimes se parecen. Perdón. Eh, se parecen. Eh, the difference, eh, podemos decir que often es como... Algo que usted hace un poco más seguido que el sometimes. That is mainly the, the difference. Esto como usted hace esta actividad como más seguido, el often, que el sometimes. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. But, pero si queremos como una traducción, podemos decir que el sometimes. Sometimes podemos decir que es a veces, algunas veces. Este And, porque... Usually se, también se puede eh, utilizar al principio de una oración y son, sometimes también. Usually y sometimes, al principio de la oración, así es. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Solo esos dos, nada más. Okay, teacher. 
al principio de la oración o en medio o antes del verbo. ¿Yes? Ah, no, ese, esa era mi duda, que si se tenía que usar solo el principio o también se puede ir en medio. Sí, se puede, sí se puede. Pero los únicos que se pueden al principio. Exacto, exacto. Si se pueden utilizar antes del verbo eh, o al principio de la oración, ya sea usually y sometimes. Los demás nos vamos a quedar que lo vamos a utilizar antes del verbo, ¿ok? A, a excepción de estas eh, expressions, right? Estas las podemos utilizar al final también. Uh -huh. Ok, ahí está. No sé si hay dudas or questions about the activities. Ok, si nos fijamos bien en el caso de estos adverbios, están antes del verbo, right? Tenemos el verbo watch, entonces tenemos el, el adverbio ever. Tenemos otra vez watch, Ve, vemos que está antes del verbo, right? Por ejemplo, often. Tenemos sometimes, está antes del verbo, y en el caso de la regla, que está al principio también. Tenemos también el hardly ever, que está antes del verbo. Okay, como regla, tiene que ir antes del verbo, ¿ok? Ok, no questions. Ok, so let me... I'm sorry, no sé si voy a decir algo, Amanda. Or... It's no, okay. Had... Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect, I got it. Ok, there it is, guys. So let's practice this section, right? Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer? It says, put the adverbs in the correct place. Sometimes there is more than one correct answer. Then practice with a partner. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a escribir en la posición correcta of the adverbs que tenemos. Ok, ¿cómo nos quedaría? ¿Cómo podemos hacer uh, this question? But we have to include ever. ¿Cómo nos quedaría entonces? Do you ever play sports? Exactly. Vamos a escribir entonces. Do you ever do you play you? sports? Very good. ¿Cómo nos quedaría eh, in this sentence? If I want to include twice a week. Um, um, choose. Uh -huh. Sure, I play twice a week soccer. No, I play soccer. Ok, recordemos que estas expressions las podemos utilizar al final, right? Así como twice a week, eh, three times a week, a excepción de, los, de estas expressions. Let me show you. Ok, aquí está. Ok, usually they go at the end, a excepción de estas, right? Let's do. Let's practice. Entonces, let's see. Y tenemos entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? How can we create the sentence, right, guys? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Perfect, yes, right. Sure, I play soccer. Solo quitamos esto. Twice a week. Y ahí nos quedaría. There we have. So, what about number two? It says, what do you do on Saturday mornings? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Uh -huh. Tenemos que utilizar usually. We have to use usually. What, what do you do? Ok. What do you usually? Voy a incluir el usually en este lugar. What do, you use, what do you usually do on Saturday mornings? Muy bien. Teacher, uh -huh. en, ese, en ese caso, como le preguntaba al principio, te se pone aquí antes de on Saturday. Usually. Usted me, me dice que si podemos poner usually antes de Saturday acá. Eh, Así es. Yes. Ok, eh, no, in this case we have to use el adverbio, este, antes del verbo, right? A excepción cuando estemos en una oración como afirmativa. Okay. Okay. Pero en este, en este caso no, no, en este caso no, ok. Solo okay. antes del verbo. 
Y usually no incluye, no va en esa parte de las reglas. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. Nothing much. I sleep until noon. ¿Cómo me quedaría? Nothing much. I sleep until noon. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? Escuché que alguien dice que almost always must be in this place. Can we say that? Ah, pues no, teacher, es nothing much. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I almost always sleep until noon. That's right. Vamos a escribir in this space, right? Recordemos que it is before the verb. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. What about number three? It says, do you lift weights at the gym? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? How can we create a sentence using often? Mm -hmm. uh, sería, do you often? Yes, right. Tenemos el verbo lift, entonces. Lift weights at the gym. Exactly, that's right. Do you often lift weights at the gym? And the answer. No. No, I, I hardly, ever. hardly ever. That's right. Perfect. No, I hardly ever lift weights. Okay, what about number four? ¿Cómo nos quería number four? Do you, do you always exercise on Saturday? That's on right. Saturday? Do you always exercise on Sundays? Okay. What about the letter B? No. No. I, I never exercise on Sundays. Sunday. Perfect. There you have. I never write. In. Let's do one more. Number five. What do you do after class? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? What, what do you? What do you usually do? you do after class okay what do you usually do after class perfect and the answer i i about three times a week mm -hmm. with my classmates okay i go out oh. with my classmates about three solo quitamos el punto right y se lo agregamos Okay, so do you have questions? Tenemos dudas acerca de la grammar. It is very important, right? Teacher, mm -hmm. exercise en español es ejercicio. Ejercitarse también es un verbo. Ah, ejercitar. Ah, sí. okay, okay. También. Bueno. Tiene los dos significados. Vamos a ver más. Ustedes se van a encontrar con varias palabras. <coughs> Pueden cambiar el significado, right? Dependiendo de la oración. Okay. Sí, porque yo pensé que solo decía ejercicio, do you exercise, entonces le iba a preguntar que por qué iba antes de exercise si no era un verbo, pero ahora me dice que uh -huh. sí. Sí, ah, sí okay. se puede. Hay tener los dos significados. O un ejercicio de matemática o también el verbo de ejercitarse, right? de hacer ejercicio. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. So, no questions, guys. No, ok. So, les voy a compartir esta, este ejercicio para que ustedes lo puedan practicar en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y vamos a hacer one exercise more. And that this is going to... Ok, a review, right? Este va a ser un review. Esto lo vimos en el módulo pasado, right? Pero es importante que lo recordemos. The rule. Ok, estamos, como estamos utilizando el how often... Ok, give me just a second. No sé qué pasó, creo que la batería. Give me just a second, guys, please. Ok, ahí está la batería, está fallando. Ok, entonces les decía que el how often. Lo vamos a utilizar ya sea con el do, 
o con el das. El do lo vamos a utilizar con I, you, we y they. And, y el verbo eh, de la forma normal, right? El das con he, she, it y el verbo de la forma normal. How often does, for example, Amanda exercise? ¿Qué tan seguido Amanda hace ejercicio? How often? Never. <laughs> How often? Never. Das, vamos a utilizar el das porque estamos hablando de ella. Das, Amanda exercise. Entonces, ella dice que ella nunca hace ejercicio. ¿Cómo puedo decir que Amanda nunca hace ejercicio? She, uh -huh. she exercises. Ella she nunca. Never, uh -huh. She never exercises. She never. never. She never. Exercise. Exercise. Ok, ¿estará bien así o me hace falta algo? ¿O is there something missing? What do you think? ¿Qué nos puede hacer falta ahí? Eso lo vimos en el módulo pasado, si no estoy, si no me equivoco. Pero ¿qué me hace falta en this part? She never exercise too. No. She does. She does. No. Eh, vimos, me parece que lo vieron en el título pasado, del simple present. Recordemos que cuando estamos aquí, she, en it, le vamos a agregar s al verbo. Ok. Mm. She never exercises. She never exercises. Ok, no nos olvidemos, because if that, that is very important, right? Eso es la base. Tenemos que eh, recordar siempre that important rule. Ok, no sé si hay dudas with that part. Questions? Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Este, ¿Será que me puede mandar el link del WhatsApp aquí al chat de, de la plataforma de aquí de, de Sonpor, please? Yes, se le envío al final. Ok, Jonathan. Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, guys, en, no sé si hay dudas about the grammar part. You, you can ask, guys, don't worry. Ok, entonces tenemos the expression, right? Tenemos algunas expresiones de tiempo, por ejemplo, all the time, every other week, eh, three times a month, a few times a year, every day. Once a week, several times, and so on. Ok, no sé si tengamos dudas about that part. Teacher, several ¿Sí? times a year. a year. Several times, muchas veces, right? Sí. Several, muchas veces al año. Sí. A lot of times también podemos decir, a lot of times. A lot of times. Uh -huh. Ok, guys, no doubts. Once in a while. Once, una vez al año, si lo queremos traducir. Uh -huh. Una vez allá al tiempo. Once in a while. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing this information in the WhatsApp group. And uh, eh, espero mañana we can continue with the task. Y les comparto entonces information in the group of the WhatsApp guys. I will say goodbye to you. And solo me quedo con Jonathan, me parece, right? That me indican Thank you. to you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, to you guys. Me indican, por favor, eh, Jonathan. Veamos si este, permítame, Jonathan. And see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Ciao. Okay, ciao. <laughs> bye, bye. Veamos. Bye bye. Ya se lo bye comparto. Bye. bye bye, guys. Have a good night. Ok, Jonathan. No sé si está ahí, Jonathan. Ahí está. Ok, there you are. There you have. Ok, me indica, por favor, si podemos. If you can see the, the, the link. Oh, ahorita, teacher. Sí, ya voy a cerrar la sesión porque tengo que. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Estamos okay. bien. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. See you, Estamos. Jonathan. Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. See you.